And everyone, two Heartland colleges come together to offer students more opportunities in one of our region's biggest industries. Colin Bailey met with leaders at the schools to talk about the growing field. It's a huge industry in Illinois. Uh, it is a huge industry in southern Illinois. Southeastern Illinois College and Ren Lake College are joining forces to expand agriculture education opportunities in southern Illinois. SIC President Jonah Rice says the partnership gives students a chance to earn a degree in a field that's so important to the heartland. Ren Lake has always had a, a very strong ag program and working with them will be able to help um, um, you know, leverage for our students uh, to get some really up-to-date training. That includes the emerging technology in the ag industry already on campus at Ren Lake College. You've got students that are going to see this equipment, they're going to be out there operating it, and the idea that we'll just come in and work on something that's 50 years old doesn't make your curriculum relevant or anything. So we've got to be partnering with industry, have access to the latest technology. Ren Lake College President Terry Wilkerson says the new expansion continues a decade-long partnership between the two schools. We're able to, to provide some ag courses that they may not have a strong enrollment for, but together it, it, it benefits us because it enhances our students' experiences here, and then it gives them a chance to offer some, some curriculum that they might not want to make that investment or need to make that investment into. And Dr. Rice says the entire community is behind their push for a large ag field. We've been going around talking to our uh, local superintendents and informing them and other school officials, uh, and uh, we've just been met with really positive uh, feedback. Um, a lot of students are interested in the ag industry. In Southern Illinois, Colin Bailey, Heartland News. You can find all the information on applying for the course on the KFES News app and our website.